guys welcome back to the Bolan family channel so today as you can see in the title I have decided to do something a little bit different now recently I have seen videos of youtubers doing things like Google chose my makeup or Instagram followers chose what I was doing for the day for 24 hours and things like that so I decided that I would like to try doing my friend chose my makeup now i haven't actually seen this being done but i'm quite sure if i checked out on youtube there probably is several people that have done it so full credit to anyone that's done it well before i have uh, this is just something that i'd been inspired to do by things i've already seen um so yeah i thought i'd give it a go um so i contacted my friend now this friend has been a really good friend of mine for almost two years now those two years seem to have gone so so fast she's an absolutely amazing person um someone who i'm so proud to call my friend um she's a lovely person she really really is so i contacted my friend and said hey how would you like to help me do a video? Now, my friend is very shy, just as I've always been. It's just that I've now got used to talking to a camera because it's my way of talking to people in the outside world. But my friend is a very shy person and um, I think I was concerned she'd presume that I meant actually be in a video. So I told her straight that basically I was wanting to do a friend chose my makeup style video if she was up for doing it. Um, obviously it was up to her and that what I was hoping to do was send her five items of um, like each stage of makeup so when I got around to doing primer there was going to be five options lipstick there would be five options eyeshadow would be five options um, but I did tell her that I would leave two items out as I'm a bit fussy about them which happened to be my eyebrow product and my eyeliner for my waterline um, I generally wear black so I thought we'd leave them out but other than that we was going to be doing my full face of makeup based on my friend's choices after sending her five products ranging from high-end to drugstore brands um, even as cheap as pound items from um, Poundland or um, there was a haul I did I can't remember where it come from now but um, I'd bought some items that are a pound. This is an online site, but anyway. So I sent her a range of prices of products um, for each item and I let her decide. So I asked her very nicely if she would give me a list of her um, choices after sending that to her and then I would do the video. So I actually asked her yesterday, uh, so the day before I've made this video, um, what her um, choices would be she got back to me very very quickly so I thought I'd do it the next day um, she's really excited to see how I got on I was really excited about how it would go and yeah she did pick some really good things so I hope you really enjoy this video if you would like to have the chance of doing the same for me me sending you some pictures for you to choose my full face of makeup please do let me know in the comments i am open to any suggestions with videos and help from anybody um, if you would like to um, do something perhaps i could give you a shout out and do a video of full face of makeup with your choices we'll see how it goes um, so if you would like to see how I did this, then please keep on watching.
right guys so I have pulled you into my dressing table you are now looking into my big mirror as always and as usual I have my handy pink little mirror in front of me so you will see me looking into this mirror in front of me from time to time um, because it's a lot closer to me than this big white mirror is so let's get cracking with this video the first item that I shall be using is primer so the options I gave my friend are So, the product my friend chose from the five options I gave her was this one. So this is the primer I shall be using. So let's just apply some um, primer. Now I'm gonna do this with my fingers, guys, okay? I like to prime my eyes as well. Now this is a primer that I quite like when I'm not using a silicone based one like um, Benefit um, Poreless Primer. Right okay so that is the primer done. So the next step for me would be foundation however since I've been poorly I seem to have gained a lot of acne problems I've been poorly for six weeks if you wasn't already aware um, it all came about when I had a fall when I was recording a video um, because we decided to take our children for a trip out um, but basically in these last six weeks I have had um, continuous high temperatures um, with being ill and so I've had a lot of breakout situations and as you can see I've got a nasty um, one on the end of my nose I've got some things that are fading on my cheek this side and a few this side as well so um, yeah my skin's not looking its best at the minute but I do have acne prone skin anyway so I generally tend to have issues with it regardless but the constant high temperatures won't have helped so what I'm going to do is just use a bit of the concealer that my friend will have chosen just to go over these blemishes before I put the foundation on so the options I gave my friend for concealer were and the concealer my friend chose from the five options I gave her was this it's the Benefit Boing Hydrating Concealer in shade number one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some over my blemishes. Okay, and I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty blender. Right, that didn't do a very good job of covering up the one on the end of my nose, so I'm just going to give that a bit of a go and the one on this, one on this side of it. Okay, that's a bit better. Hopefully the foundation going over the top will sort it out right okay so the next step is foundation so the options I gave my friend for foundation were now my friend decided that I should use this one the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Swan so I'm just going to squeeze some of this onto the back of my hand, so like so. And we're going to use the Beauty Blender and apply this foundation and hope that it covers all of my blemishes. I haven't used this one for a while. What, what shade do you guys, have you got this foundation? What do you think of it? It used to be one of my favourites. I used to swear by this one but I think since then I've tried several others and 
it's not that it's not my favourite anymore, it's just that I think there's several that I enjoy now, so it doesn't get used as frequently as it used to. Now I do run the foundation all the way around my eye as well. I've got very, very dark circles around my eyes, so I like to try and cover them up as best I can. Get time to stop by and support our family channel. This channel is a real variety of videos, more so makeup at the moment because I'm on. Well, I have some chronic illnesses, and obviously, I have a lot of time on my hands to play with makeup because I spend a lot of time sat in bed because I am bed bound due to the chronic illnesses so um, we do a variety of videos so unboxings, makeup, um, get ready with me, um, challenges, days out we do a lot of different you know different videos so the reason why this is called a family channel, the Bottom family channel, is so that it can cover everything. Oh, and cooking as well. It's just that if you have a family channel, it covers all angle of videos that you want to upload as a family. So we can upload, we even upload things like our top three um, YouTube videos for the month. Last month we didn't do it. Um, recently videos haven't been going up as well. So, so that's my foundation on. So the next step would be foundation um, powder, setting powder, to set to that foundation. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to send some options of that for my friend to choose one so I'm gonna pick one myself to go over my foundation with So the setting powder I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to go for a drugstore brand um, setting powder because we have a lot of high-end choices from my friend. So I thought we'd set this with a Revolution pressed powder in the translucent shade and I am just going to press that into my face with a big brush. Yeah, and I'm just going to put that on. So. Just set it in. Right, okay, so that's me all powdered. So apologies to my friend that I've picked that myself, but I hadn't actually realised until I started making this video. I'm sure you're watching. So yeah, apologies for that. That wasn't intentional. So next up, I'm going to use my concealer around my eyes. I'm just gonna lighten up a few spots with some concealer. So under eye. My chin. And my forehead here. Trouble is, is because my skin is so pale it's hard to find a light enough product I'm not going to use something else because this was about my friend choosing the makeup so um, yeah so I can still see my dark circles unfortunately but we're just going to crack on with this so the next item I'm going to apply will be bronzer these are the options I gave my friend And my friend chose this one. She chose the Morphe Brontor and it's a bronzer and contour powder and it's called Glitterati. So I'll just open it and show you. Now this is something I bought when Beauty Bay had a um, sale before they'd 
discontinued or stopped selling Morphe products so I got this very very cheap and I hadn't actually got around to using it yet so this has been the perfect opportunity to use it I'm gonna go ahead and use the lighter shade so not the shimmery side but this side here so I'm just gonna apply this looks really nice it reminds me of the hula light actually I like that it's quite subtle it's quite pale like me so yeah so that's that so the next step we're going to apply some blusher the choices that I gave my friend are these so my friend chose for me to use this which is the benefit Gla uh, California California yeah so we're going to be using that one so I won't be using the brush that's inside though because it's not the greatest brush. Um, yeah, let's apply some blush. Oh, this is very um, pigmented. Wasn't expecting that. I must have been. I'm looking a bit Aunt Sally ish at the minute. <laughs> That's actually a really pretty flush of colour. I'm very happy with that. Right, okay. Right, so next up my friend decided that I should use this palette here. I will show you a picture now of what colours she chose. Okay, so gonna start out with a bigger fluffy brush okay so given the color choices that I have been given um, I think the best one to go into because I've got two shimmers and two mattes the lighter matte that I've got is this coral one here which is love is love so I'm just going to put that up into my crease. As always, I tend to go up into the crease first. I'm just gonna bring this pink mirror a bit closer. I'm just going to do exactly the same on the other eye. Right, okay, so that's both eyes done with that colour. So the next colour that I am going to use is called Cuddle Buddy. I'll show you which shade that is. Okay, so I'm now going to put that into the crease, like right in there with the same brush. So that's one eye done. I'm just going to do exactly the same to the other eye. I 
Right, that's both eyes done. So I'm now going to use a flat brush and put I Rough You, which is this shade. I'm going to put that on the like lid from the inner corner halfway across. And the same on the other side. And that's that. And then I'm going to use Wet Kisses, which is this shade. On the other half of my lids. Okay, so that's that eyeshadow complete. I'm not going to do the under eye today I'm quite happy with the way that looks I don't do it every time I put makeup on um, I have to be in the right mood it's not my favorite of things I know it finishes a look off but I don't always do that I'm quite happy with the way that looks it's a very subtle sort of everyday nude sort of look which is nice um, yeah I quite like it what I will do though is just use a little bit of um, puppy eyes which is this shade for my inner corner just as a bit of a highlight So that's the inner corners highlighted. And I'm just going to take another brush, just a clean one, um, just to kind of um, smooth out the edges a little bit of my eyeshadow. There we go. Now the next step, I didn't ask my friend what she thought or give her any options for because generally I tend to wear the same colour most days so I thought it would be good to apply it and see how it looks. So I'm just going to use a black eyeliner today on my waterline. I always, always use black on my waterline. Very rarely do I use something else. So that's my waterline done. Now, the options I gave my friend for mascara are these. And my friend chose this one, so we're just going to apply some mascara. Right, so that's my mascara done. I did get a tiny little speck on my eyelid, but I'm sure we can probably lose that in a minute. So the lipstick options that I gave my friend are these. And she chose this one. Now this was from a limited edition collection that me and my friend loved when it came out a little while ago and it's in the shade Tulak and this is a matte lipstick. That's the shade. It's a beautiful colour.
that actually goes really well I quite like it so next up I'm going to complete something that I didn't give my friend options for just because I'm quite particular about it just like the um, eyeliner and that's for my brow and I'm going to use this this came out of a subscription box recently so I'm just going to apply that to my eyebrows quickly Okay, so that's my eyebrows done. Now, the option I gave my friend for setting sprays are these. So the one my friend decided to go with is this one, this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. So I'm just gonna apply some of this. And there we go. That is the finished look of what my friend chose me. So I'm going to turn the camera around and sit in front of you guys just so you can see how we did and tell me what you think. So guys, this is the finished look. What do you think? How did you think that I got on? Do you like it? So, if you would like to have a chance of choosing my makeup for me for another video, if you'd like to see me do it again, then please do drop me a comment. Perhaps I could um, send you a picture of some products and maybe you could choose it. So yeah, please let me know in the comment section if you would like to have a go at picking my makeup for me in another video. I quite enjoyed doing it and it was good fun. So as always, everybody, thank you for joining me. Look forward to seeing you all again next time. See you all again soon. Take care. Goodbye. Thank you.